Imagine your immune system could fight off cancer just like it fights off a cold or a flu. Some scientists are working hard to find ways to shift the immune system into a higher gear to stop cancer using those little pathogen killers called T cells. So one of the biggest revolutions in cancer treatment right now are new drugs aimed at stimulating and rejuvenating our T cell response against cancer. This has become what we now call the fourth pillar of cancer treatment, what we refer to as immunotherapies. Sue Keck is a professor and immunobiologist at the Salk Institute. She says a cancer tumor is a tough neighborhood for T-cells. It's very suppressive and can just wear them out. But what if you could make those T-cells stronger? Keck and her research team learned something very interesting about what T-cells use for food. T-cells retain their cancer-killing ability, which depends on the right gene expression, when they consume acetate instead of other nutrients. So the key finding of this research is that we actually found that our, the way in which our genes are turned on or off can be dependent on which nutrient the cells are consuming. You are what you eat, she says, especially if you're a T-cell, I guess. The challenge is to get T-cells to choose acetate as a preferred nutrient. Researchers found you could do this by making sure they had plenty of an enzyme called ACSS2. This was proven in experiments with mice whose T-cells got much better at fighting tumors and killing cancer cells. Postdoctoral fellow Shishin Ma was the lead author of a paper on the research published in Science. She says in humans, this process could help attack and control tumors or stop them before they happen. This can not only be curative, but also pre preventive. Overexpression of the key enzyme and inducing cell consumption of acetate could be done through genetic engineering. Shi Xin says there may also be some dietary steps people can take to encourage the process. So maybe as a standard of care in the long run, we can let the people specifically eat certain food and then we can make them more healthier and uh, control tumor better. Vinegar, for instance, has a lot of acetate, but before you start consuming a lot of vinegar, wait for a few more studies to come out. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.